this off. Go ahead, sir. And at the call of order, the borough of Athery of the council meeting for Tuesday, November 12, 2024. Please rise as we place the flag, which will be led by our junior councilman. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Manager Flynn, please call roll. Yes, Mayor Mirabito. Present. President Hesh. Present. Vice President Ergot. Present. Pro Tem Mirabito. Here. Councilman Hamadite. Present. Councilman Lysaki. Present. Councilman Angst. Present. Good. Councilwoman Lauren Bullstink is excused tonight. Junior Council Person Lila Goldfarb. Present. Manager Flynn is present. Solicitor Kratz will be uh, 5 to 10 late today. Engineer Madison. Present. And Zoning Officer uh, Sean Lighty is excused tonight. All right, thanks, Brad. Um, all right, we're just going to kind of switch a couple of things up here on the agenda tonight in order. Um, we have our MS4 attorney. Lee Stinnett with us, and um, not keeping him here longer than he has to be here and boring him with the monotonous stuff of a regular meeting. Um, and before, courtesy of the floor, um, we're going to have Lee talk to, talk to talk to everybody, and then during courtesy of the floor, uh, anybody that's here can ask questions and uh, kind of take it from there. So um, let me first read over the ordinance for the record. Page three of the agenda, motion to adopt ordinance number 2024-736, an ordinance of the yeah, an ordinance of Bath Borough under Hampton County, Pennsylvania, signifying the intention and desire of the Borough Council of Bath Borough to organize municipal authority under the provisions of the Municipality Authorities Act 53 PACS 5601 at whatever it is. Guys, in their fancy Latin, to provide for stormwater system planning, management, and implementation, appointing and fixing the terms of the first members of the board of such authority, authorizing and directing proper officers of the authority to perform all acts and execute all other documents required or contemplated by this ordinance, setting forth and authorizing execution of articles of incorporation, authorizing all other necessary action and repealing all inconsistent ordinances or parts thereof. So obviously MS4 pertains to the stormwater or often the stormwater authority. Uh, Lee, I'll let you take it from here. It's not working, Lee, so I you might want to come up here and just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Lee, if you want to yeah, use that one there. Yeah. That use works. the yeah. microphone yeah. by the, by yeah. the computer, yeah. yeah. That should be working right there. Uh, the by the computer, yeah. right in front of the monitor. Here we go. Yep. All right. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, tonight is the public hearing for the borough council to consider public comment on an ordinance that a lot of legalese there, but generally what it says is that um, the council is authorizing the appropriate officials of the borough to file the articles of incorporation for municipal authority. Uh, for the borough bath for the purposes of stormwater management. Um, so I think it's probably best that I walk through you know, what is included within those articles of incorporation because that's really what we're approving today is the submission of those documents. Um, the way that I typically handle public hearings, I'll go through sort of the background. Um, we'll take any questions from borough council uh, and then we'll provide the public with an opportunity to come forward and uh, ask any questions about the ordinance or the process or you know, generally stormwater program. Um, once we have heard all public comment, we'll revisit with council, see if there's anything additional. If not, we'll close the public hearing and we can take a vote on the ordinance. Um, so any questions on the process? Okay, nope. so generally speaking, the, the articles of incorporation do, do a handful of things. One, pretty simply, they set the name. Um, two, and very importantly, they establish the purpose of the authority. And we like to be pretty express. So, here, the purpose of the authority is, is strictly MS4 planning, permitting, etc. Um, the term is also required to be included within the Articles of Incorporation. Um, there's a standard of 50 years that's typically used. 
Um, there might be occasions in the future where we need to extend that term, which we will, uh, the authority would then request an amendment to the articles. You all would then, probably not you all, uh, some of you all perhaps would then consider whether we want to extend the term of the authority. And that usually occurs most often when there is new debt service being issued because the authority needs to exist at, at least as long as the term of the debt service. So I don't really expect to be before you all for an amendment for the term at, at any time in the future. Uh, the next, you know, and really the most important part is it establishes the, the names of the members and their terms. Uh, an authority is, is established with, in this case, five members, um, and they have rolling terms, so five, four, three, two, one. Uh, each year, there will be an opportunity to replace a member of the authority if that's the, the wishes of Borough Council, that's firmly within Borough Council's purview. Um, if you do nothing, they are considered holdovers, uh, and they continue serving in that role until such time as, as someone has I advise to make sure each year you're appointing that one vacancy and not allowing it to be a holdover because sometimes the terms get mixed up at the end and people forget when vacancies were created. Um, so that generally describes the articles, uh, what's included. Um, next steps, uh, once, if this ordinance, I should say, is adopted, um, we have to then file another proof of, or notice that the action was taken. Once we get the proofs of publication from the legal periodical and the newspaper of general circulation, we then have to submit the articles of incorporation to the Department of State, the Secretary, uh, at which point they go into the, the system and one day we get a certificate generated that has our official authority certificate number and that's when we can move forward with the rest of the steps that would be required uh, if you so choose to move forward with establishing a stormwater program um, that would be a lease agreement, a management agreement, uh, and those things that are agreements between the borough and the authority that govern the, the operations of the, of the new entity. Um, so all of that being said, are there any questions from, from borough council? Uh, one question on the members that are on the authority, and you said the holdovers and so forth. Yes. When does that timing, or you know, what time of the year does that happen? So it, it's it, it, it gets a little difficult. Uh, with <laughs> I didn't mean to ask a difficult question. No, no, and it's, it, it all depends on when the authority is deemed. To when it's established. Okay. So when it's established, so created. So five. It's technically five years from that. Day. Okay. All right. Um, and that's but why fine. the holdover thing is, is especially important because it, it doesn't truly create the vacancy. That, that, makes, that makes sense from the day of incorporation. Yeah. Okay. Right. Which we don't know when that's going to be. Understood. No. Okay. Anything else from council? No. All right, then we can open it up to the floor. I just ask it, uh, if anybody wants to come up and make a comment or a question, just come up to the podium, just state your name, address, just for the record, for the minutes. So, no, no particular order during this moment, so anybody feel free to... <laughs> No, nope. everybody wants to hear, listen, not talk. All right. Right? Start talking, Lee. Like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I just want to make sure the general public, though, the residents that are here, are there any questions? I mean, yeah. There's no phone. Sure. There's no phone. So what, what mandated this stormwater uh, right off? It's good court. I'm sorry to interrupt, but no. I mean, for the record, name and address. It's a good question, though. We have to get all the information here. All legal. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm Jim Janakis. I live on 240 Fountain Street here in Bath. Okay, thank you. So, I've been living in, in this town for almost 50 years. And we've never had this before. So what what mandated this? The state required it um, because of the Monocacy Creek going through the borough bath and continuing down through with the other rivers until they finally got down to Maryland, Virginia, who then okay, carried so around. We're we're nowhere near the Monocacy Creek. That's right here. 
Yeah. Well, I know we're li we live up on the hill up there. Yeah, but all of our storm sewers okay. dump okay. into the mountains. Right. Yeah. So the state required that certain things be done, so it ended up that we're going to have to uh, put in two retention, well, redo one retention pond. Mm -hmm. Add two more. Add two more or garden. One's a rain garden, two retention thing. ponds that have to be done by okay, the end so of 2027 20, or 2028? 20, 20, 27. 27. So, so is there a, uh, what is the cost for this as far as the taxpayers are concerned? Yes. It's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $800,000 is what it's going to cost to do this. The average resident, uh, it's going to be like, Eighty to one hundred dollars a year for the majority of the residents of the borough. Can you hear? But but Manny, it's not going to be no. a tax. No. Because the gentleman asked about it. It's a about fee. Being it's a fee, not yeah. a tax. Or is this fee going to be billed separately from the taxes? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And, yes. and when will that? When would that start? Well, we're looking at potentially. I would say after the first quarter of next year will probably be when the first round of bills were to go out or fees. Again, Jim, this is a state mandate. The state told us this is what you have to do, okay, so this but we're not going to help you. This is like every town in Pennsylvania that has a yeah. creek or a river. Anybody yeah. that has Pretty much. a lot of pain and ready the fees. Yeah, yeah really? Like mm -hmm. Bethlehem already does, Bethlehem Township already so does. So is there a dollar. ceiling? Is there a cap on as far as how much someone can pay? Can pay? Because like between my wife and I and my son, we have like 10, 10, 12 acres up on the hill up right. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's based on impervious uh, surface. What does that mean? Um, for Driveways. example, if you have a driveway, a house, okay. anything where when it rains, anything it can't go through that into the ground. It's going to run off and then go into the ground. That's considered impervious. Sidewalks, uh, shed. If you have any of that type of stuff. And what we ended up doing was we put this together so that we wouldn't have to raise taxes because the taxes would cost a lot more. Okay. We would end up having a, in order to substantiate this, we'd end up probably somewhere around four and a half to five mils, which for most people would be a heck of a lot more than 80 to $100. Okay. So doing it this way, we end up having everybody pay, including Private clubs, churches, uh, schools, schools, the borough, the yeah. borough itself. Everybody. Everybody's going to end up having to pay, and the people who have a lot more impervious, which will pay more. Yep. For right. example, mine's going to be closer to fifteen hundred dollars a year with the restaurant that I have, because of the parking lot, the garage, the house, the restaurant, all being on one property. But the majority of the residents of the borough will be between that eighty and hundred. Actually, I'm not even sure. Yeah, well, it's your driveway, the roof of your house, the roof of any other building on your property. Yeah, and the not home news, it's about $400 to $500 on that right So there's like a, there's a, there's a scale, um, Ron, I don't know if you have that map with you, do you? Yeah, travel, it's not run, run, it's not adopted. Run your microphone, run your microphone. Yeah, the it's um, the GIS system uses a computer routine to view from aerial photographs and pervious coverage on each parcel. So every parcel, there's over a thousand separate parcels in the borough, believe it or not. Because we we recently we black tarp blacktopped our driveway a few years ago, but I got the blacktop where the water goes through it. Okay. I forget what they call that kind of blacktop. But we don't have a lot of water runoff as far as getting down to the road into the drain down at the bottom of Mountain Street there. Because the water seeps through the, seeps through the blacktop. Right, so one, the one way too, not to interrupt what the engineer was saying, but they had to start somewhere. So they did a, a satellite imagery to see impervious, impervious, and kind of so scale are we that. So get an estimate before the actual bill comes out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, estimates are going to go out. But the other thing too I wanted to tell you is part of the reason with the authority, which would be separate from borough council and from the borough, 
which you can uh, you can appeal individually, and you can come in front of the authority and say, "Hey, I know this is what you want me to pay. Um, can you look at my property specifically and show me how that matches up with what I'm paying?" And I mean, I I don't want to guarantee that process. You could maybe reduce. I don't think it could go up, but um, yeah, Jim. So what uh, Councilman Mirabito said earlier too. Your eighty-two hundred dollars for a lot of folks here in town is what the math is working out to be. There'll be a whole host of credits too that uh, residents can apply for to help reduce their fee. You know, putting in a rain barrel to collect stormwater runoff from the rooftop. That's Good. great. Good. Perfect. So you're already ahead of the game. You're yeah. ahead of the game already. But yeah, there'll be there'll be a mechanism for all that, but a lot okay. of this isn't approved yet. So and and part of the thing too, I mean, we we had I we'll say we'll use a nice thing, we'll say water runs downhill, right? Instead of other stuff. So the feds implemented this stuff, passed it on to the state. Pennsylvania is very aggressive, I would say, in their policies towards all of this, and this has been going on for many years. To the point where now, all right, now they're instituting it to the municipalities and the cities. And there's really no, I don't want to say rhyme or reason. There were some questions at the town hall that they asked Attorney Stinnett where they come up with this number. And a lot of it is just, well, and like Ron will tell you, not that they're picking it out of thin air, but there's not a whole heck of a lot of calculations, I think, in some of this stuff. And that's the frustrating part. And um, it's basically like, okay, Bath, you have to do this, this, and this. And you have to do it by this time, they give us a permit, X amount of years, five years, six years. And if, if you don't do it, there's gonna be a fine. Okay, and I think we asked Lee what the fine is in relation to that. And it's not cheap, right? I mean, it's like five to six figures. Five to six figures, so then, You'll, we're going to be paying the fee, plus still have to do this project. So I guess from our standpoint, too, we're very frustrated that, I mean, personally, I didn't want to start another authority. I didn't want to start charging another fee for something else. We're already paying out the wazoo for everything. But the state's like, well, you either do it or you're going to get fined. And there's no assistance or help. Everybody's going to be fighting over the same dollar. And my fear is after this is implemented, let's say we do this and we meet our requirements and install all this. What's going to be the next requirement? The state's going to say, all right, great. Now put five more rain gardens in. Like, where's the end to this stuff? Like, that's that's my frustration and anger. But I, I didn't know if Ron was going to say more. I'm sorry. Because first off, we got they wanted a 10% reduction. And now the question, or the theory, is that they're going to want another 10% five years later. But at this point, we have to do what's required now, or else we get fined and still have to do it. All right, so then I'll so just wait for the estimate to come, and yeah. we'll go from there. Yeah. That would be back down here. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, thanks, thanks for coming, and uh, yeah. like I said, there's going to be an appeal process, too, so I'm sure that will be. Hey, Manny, for some of the folks in here, isn't there monthly meetings on MS4? Yeah. Yes. What, what, I mean, for the audience. Uh, the fourth. Monday. Fourth Monday. Fourth Monday, Monday of the month. Okay. Yes. At what time? At five o'clock. Here. Here. Okay. Jim, did you hear that? MS4 meetings are the fourth Monday of the month. Fourth Monday. Right here. Five here o'clock. At five p.m. Okay. Going forward. Now I did have a question in relation to that. Now, how many acres did you say you have? Uh, all together between like ten and twelve between the two of us. But not all of it's backed <coughs> off the side no, of no, the roof. No, no. So, I mean, Ron, in... in, in it's not going to matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much your acreage is. It's the impervious. Right. Oh, okay. But isn't there offsets to that if you have X amount? Yeah. Okay. We'll get into that. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that there are offsets to that. And I don't know where the $400, $500 came from. It was in the comments. Yeah. But I'll reread it. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So, any other questions as it pertains to MS4 right now tonight? No. All right. So then we got to move forward with this, or consider moving forward with it. Um, you have to close the meet the hearing. I don't know if we ever opened the hearing. You did. We did. Yeah. I didn't hear you say open the meeting. Oh, yeah. All right, do I have a motion to close the hearing on MS4? 
Motion. Motion by Manny. Second. Second by Jim. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. As the hearing is officially closed. Did she weigh in Samantha? on that? Samantha? Yeah, she's here. Yeah, aye. Sorry. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hearing's closed. Next step. Ordinance. Motion to adopt, right? Motion made by Jim. I'll second. Second by Doug. Do a roll call. We'll do a roll call vote. Councilman Lysaki? Yes. Vice President Ergot? Yes. Pro Tem Urbito? Yes. Councilman Hammondike? Yes. Councilman Angst? Yes. And President Ash? Yes. Motion passes six to nothing. All right. All right, anything else for us? Thank you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Bye, Kim. Take care, Lee. We'll see you. Drive safe. All right. Um, since we already kind of did a courtesy of the board in relation to MS4, I will also open it up for courtesy regular the courtesy of the floor for anybody if you want to talk about something other than MS4. Good to you. Um, Phil, anything? Tony? Come on, Tony. <laughs> All right, Tony. He makes my night. He does? Yeah. Well, that's not nice. You make Jim's night. Absolutely. Tony's on the fire department. Uh, 25 calls for the month of October. Is that Mike working? Uh, that brings our total up to 284. Uh, and I can tell you with the way November started, we're at right around 310. Whew. Yeah. Jeez. Too many you know, field fires. People just don't listen when there's a band. No, they don't listen. And they no. continue to. Yep. No burning. But you have people that, that don't care. Tony, no. is there anything from the fire department that you need from council or borough staff at yeah. this moment? No. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Actually, Tony, Tony, hold on a second. Aren't we reappointing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't have to be here for it unless he wants to be. Are you just leaving? Don't really do an interview or just? No, not for reappointments okay. unless it's requested by council. It's new members that we new do members. Well, oh. while, he's, I mean, while he's here, do you want to just go ahead with that? We could. I mean, it's it's up it's not. Let me, it, let me just get through. Are you staying? Yeah, or just no? hang on to it for five minutes. minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Uh, okay, John, sit down. Phil, so you got something? I'll change my mind. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you can change your mind, Phil. First, you have to sign in. Keep telling your mind. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, go ahead, Phil. Uh, Phil, West 310 to my Hill. Um, just really on the back of what Tony said about the fire burning. If you see somebody with a fire pit or something, is it, I mean, yeah. Call 911 and dispatch the fire company. That's the only way the fire company can be dispatched. Yeah, well, that's the chief or the assistant chief. Right. Not investigate investigated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Someone had a campfire the other night on a Saturday night on Penn Street. Yeah, I saw one of which was on the night. Just file 911. Claims must have been this high. Oh, Unbelievable. God. Yeah. And actually, right now, there's fines for that from the county. County and state. We're under a state and county ban. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, Phil, no more roasted marshmallows. <laughs> no more roasting marshmallows, Phil. <laughs> Oh, you can still do that inside of our gas stove. Looks great. <laughs> All right, um, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Giannopoulos, anything? Yes. What, yeah. What do you, what do, you okay. do when people are shooting off fireworks? That's a good question. Same thing. I mean, Please. Uh, you had old porch knocking them off the end of the night. I know. That, we had that uh, after, I had that after the holidays and stuff, and, the, and everything's dry. And, we and had it's that, up at the park. Um, Carl Rarick. That's it. Yeah. And you go up there, and I didn't go up for confrontation. I took the cell phone, taped everybody that was up there, and I kindly said, listen, if you're shooting them over, it's landed on my land. I hope you have good homeowner's insurance. And they laughed. They cracked another beer and just drank it. You could have called. You could have yeah. called state police, yeah. police because or 911 to dispatch the fire company. I mean, they're allowed to just. They're not. No. No, no they're not. They're not. No drinking allowed. I mean, no, no, yeah, no alcohol. No, in, in the state ordinances, that although fireworks are legal now, but you yeah. in the back ordinances. Not, not in public. Not in public. 
Right, but not within certain setbacks. In certain setbacks, yeah. Feet of a, of a right. neighboring yeah. structure. Yeah, I mean. And not on public property. Are you going to call 911 for something? Yes, you have to yes. call. I know, I realize 911 is emergency. Yeah. But it's the only way that we can get the fire company out. Uh, you can't call state police because they will not dispatch fire. Only 911 will. What if there isn't an actual fire? It's a, if you see somebody burning, just dial 911. If you see somebody laying off fireworks, just dial 911. And say, you're concerned. You know? I, I am. I mean, they. I would be too. They don't have any. No, they nope. don't. <laughs> Respect is a forgotten thing. <coughs> All right, anything else? All right, moving on, we're going to skip around again. Uh, under 15-22 motion action items, item A, um, Bob Tony's here. To reappoint Tony Kowalowski for another term to the Bathboro Water Authority. Motion. Motion by Jim. Second. Second by Michelle. All in favor Thank signify. You. You do want to be reappointed, right? Okay, just make sure. I was going to argue. Was it four years? Who seconded that? It was Jim and Michelle for a second. Five years. Five years. Five years, please. All right, any questions from council? Any, all right. It is. It's K O L O V. Okay. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. There you Thank go. you, Tony. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let's now, back to normalcy. Item six of twenty-two: approval of council meeting minutes from the October sixteenth, twenty twenty-four regular session. Council. Motion. Second. Motion by Michelle. Second by Manny. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed. Second. The ayes have it. Item 722, 7 of 22, appointed uh, council committee uh, reports. Uh, PFA, item A, personal finance administration, did not meet in October. NAS, mm -hmm. Councilman Hammerdike, any update? Uh, yeah, we brought, I brought the consolidation option on the sanitation services. Mark Saganero said that there had not been uh, anything done to bring different uh, townships together. Another men, uh, member mentioned that uh, Casella had merged with Whitetail, which could be a better cost-saving measure if we would uh, go forward with uh, bidding them out. Who with Whitetail? I'm sorry, Casella. Casilio. 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 Yeah, I know Casilio, but that's concrete. No, there's a there's a waste there. C a s. -E yeah. Oh, that's Casella, not oh, Castillo. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking our, the same thing. Our fault, the dialect. Yeah. In the garbage Sorry, <laughs> putting in concrete. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. It was also uh, mentioned that uh, the upcoming year that uh, Laura Nazareth uh, will be going out to bid, and we might want to contact them. Well, they were supposed to contact us um, about that to see if maybe we can partner up. As to the animal control question, it was agreeance that uh, no one in our area will partner with any town to take pick up animals that were found without an owner and or being a nuisance. Mark Saganero once again is uh, mentioned that he is working with Upper Town Nazareth and a shelter that could possibly uh, work with different townships. So he's trying to make some headway there, and that's something so, that we'll have to follow up on. The question with that. Um, did, was there, so you're saying there was no interest, but there was... No, that there's just, well, there is interest by all townships. It's just that there's no one right. to actually do it, that they already started to look into it. Okay. It was in the uh, other meeting. Um, and uh, that uh, they, it, part of the discussion was that a lot of towns are building their own pens to house the animals. <laughs> Mark mentioned that he has gone so far as to take animals home with him. So the idea is dealing with uh, the problems themselves and for more broadly for most towns. The next meeting is December 19th at 6. There'll be no November meeting. So that's all for NASCAR. Uh, I can just continue on with the environmental. Well, hang, on a, hang on a second there. Uh, the, 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 sure. Tony, raise I just have a quick question. Mark from Tad, what, what is he with this committee? 
He's he's the Tatami representative to NASCO because he's the manager now at Tatami. Yeah, I know he's right, the but he's their rep that he's goes to the meetings. Oh, we know. Yep. Oh, yep. we know. Yeah. Thanks, though. <laughs> Just call it what it is, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Council, do you have any questions for Doug with regards to NASCOP? Yes, Doug. For, do you, was it lower or upper Nazareth on the trash, okay. on their sanitation? Yeah, I was confident that they said lower. Okay. She's not telling me they're a single hauler. So I, ch I was trying to check with which one yeah, is getting ready. Yeah, because we had talked about it. Yeah. All right. I'll check back with Upper, see if, if they're... There was maybe confusion. Okay. I know they were probably new to Single Hall. Or they, I know years ago they were thinking about it, so this is interesting development if they, if they are trying to do that. So did, does NAS, did NASCOG form a committee to look into animal control for all municipalities, or is there just this one person working on it? Uh, the, it, apparently they had been talking about it, and yes, Mark also had raised his hand to further that discussion and take up that charge. Okay, did you mention anything about any veterinarians? Yes. Okay. Well, anything there? No. It ha has anybody contacted any veterinarian? Mark claims that he has, and that uh, there is no one in our media area that will actually do this job. Hmm. Okay, and thank so, you. Yeah, you continue to cite like a lot of different towns and how they're building their own pens. Thank you. All right, Doug, you want to move on to environmental advisory? Uh, sure. Uh, we met the other Monday, and uh, in the short discussion, we talked about the second cleanup event and how we went out around there. Uh, with, and our next cleanup will be on December 7th, weather pending. Uh, the sanitation contract we also discussed and our ability to extend the contract and also forecasting ideas for Earth Day and our normal schedule on events in 2025. Our next meeting is December 2nd at 6. The rest of the information that we discussed is in your packet. Under new business, should it be Lauren or Karen? Who helped on that day? Lauren. Oh, it says Karen. I didn't know uh, Karen was there. I saw that too, yeah. Lauren, Karen. She, she, it was a, it was a typo. Okay. Typo. Um, yeah. Any questions in regards to environmental? Typo. For those? I'm sorry. Thanks. It was our fabulous tablets. No questions for those environmental? We have a lot of Doug, thanks for doing the uh, the monthly cleanups. Um, yeah, if we can keep continuing to try to advertise that more and more. Yeah, I'll put it out yes, to the center. Yeah. So it's regularly uh, remembered. Yeah. All right, hearing no questions for environmental, uh, yeah, economic development, pretty uh, short report. Um, Yuletide, even though it doesn't mention it in your packet in the notes, the Yuletide uh, has been canceled. That was going to take place. Uh, leading up to the uh, Christmas tree lighting. Um, so uh, the Christmas tree lighting, obviously the mayor will touch on that later on. That's still a go. Um, final numbers for Old Home Week, Old Home Weekend, uh, should be reported probably at the November meeting. That's just been some uh, time issues on my end and coordinating with Brad to sit down and go over all of those so we get the exact ones. Um, they are uh, the committee. Uh, economic Development is planning to do Old Home Weekend again in 2025. This time, however, to take place in September, I mean, Thursday, Thursday, September 18th through Sunday, September 21st. Softball Tournament Rain Date will be the following weekend of September 27th. So um, the September dates this year from the rain dates seem to be a little bit more enjoyable, not as hot yes. and easier to work around. We're not competing with, you know, Music Fest and more townships, community days, and things like that. So it's easier to book bands and things of that nature. So Perfect. again, thanks to all our sponsors this year that helped, and everybody on council setting up tents, taking down tents, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the community greatly appreciates your support. So any questions? Yeah, since you had a home week in August in the rain, can you have one in November and December? <laughs> bring back, Probably. bring back some rain. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's just trying. 
Good any, uh, any questions? No? All right. Uh, MS4, which obviously we were going over some of that stuff, but Manny, I'll let you say your piece if there's anything you want to talk about with that. There's really nothing new. It's all in your packet, uh, the discussion that took place in some basic numbers, but nothing until we <coughs> formally put something together once uh, we're official. All right, any questions for the MS4 committee, which will soon be falling by the wayside when the authority is established. And again, a reminder that's most likely going to go back to being a public works committee. Uh, public safety committee, and I know uh, Michelle couldn't make that, uh, so <coughs> she's turning over the report to her executive um, assistant, Manny, right? Okay. It's all in your packet again, but... Uh, that's uh, just a cop-out doesn't want to talk. <laughs> uh, there was discussion about the, uh, the signs that used to be for the slow down speed in front of the uh, mm. schools, which it, uh, we think that the best way to go with that is just to get rid of the whole thing, because it's too expensive to do anything else because of permitting from PennDOT, et cetera. Um, and thank you for doing that. I know it was a pain in the butt with that, but they're eyesores, so getting rid of them is fine by me. Uh, there was also some discussion with uh, the firefighters. What's um, wrong with the firefighters? Probably wouldn't do much. It's in your packet. It's, it's, in, all, packet. it's in your packet, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's there nothing was, really substantial to... I think there was also discussion in regards to the firefighters was putting one of those don't block the box signs out here on um, in front of the buildings of the fire department so the traffic wouldn't get jammed up when... Uh, yeah, we thought it, it would be better actually not to bother with that. Yeah, just have the fire trucks go. push them to right out of the road out of the place. Do do I'll do that on their own. Because they're not going to listen anyway. Because True. People, are right. here. Like, uh, yeah, people don't stop okay. stop signs. They're not going to do you that in a minute. So Manny just says, <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. Uh, any questions in regards to public safety? <laughs> Feral oh, cats. The, uh, yeah, the box is light study. Is it because of the bridges that we can't turn on any of the roads right now? No, that's... Or is it because the lights aren't still synced? No, they're, they're synced, but uh, there's a antenna that will connect the lights into PennDOT. It's what they call command and control. And then the lights have to be retimed at 3 a.m. every day. That's not happening. So that's not going to happen until February or March of next year. Okay, because it's like 10 times worse it's than it was before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so then there crazy. is also issues with... Um, Newburgh Road right. and yeah, traffic is bridge, yeah. we're not yeah. right. The power yeah. outage is two forty eight. Two forty eight's also got issues, and then of course you're going to have the realignment. So for for us, it's waiting until all these projects are done in the area and give it a few years, and then we can possibly a few years. Turn on it or well, what, what can we What can we do now? Basically, you're going to fly cars. I will lose my crap. I just can't. It, it's crazy. I, mean, I, I know I can't control what, it, but it's just crazy. Like, what's good crazy. about the system that we have now is that uh, Ron's office can actually see uh, the data and what's going on at the intersections, and then we can ask for retiming because they are on different timings throughout the day, dependent on peak traffic volumes, and then that changes. We didn't have this before. We just had a timed period, and that was it. So once we get some of this data, we can then request PennDOT, change their, the timings on the permits, but really we shouldn't be doing any of that until the construction's settled, the realignment's <coughs> done, and then we can give it a better, uh, better try. And one of the major issues is the Newburgh Road being closed and right. it's dumping everything yes. to 248. Correct. And then they're working on 248 and holding traffic way back, and yep. then suddenly you get 50 cars coming into the right. at one yep. shot instead of just... Nice it's a disaster. Right. It's awful. So it's for the next disaster. month or so, should be done, I would think, because they got the bridge out. here. They said end of no, November. No, no. Two forty. What about two forty eight? That looks like it's just about done. I was gonna say it looks like it's good. yeah should be I, done. I think soon. they just have to uh, redo the lines and plant grass. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. On the because they did they, they did pave that that section. You yeah, know, for another warehouse. But then remember, we'll two forty eight realignment yeah. here is gonna shut things down as well. So. Yeah. Where's the salad where but, going? That's by Arrowhead. Oh, okay. um, but the other thing, too, I think that we were, I don't 
don't say bamboozled on or what, I don't know what word to use, but we were initially told that these are kind of going to be self-learning and syncing up to each other, right? Am I wrong? So the four traffic lights work together. Right. And they will be, and they are working together. Mm -hmm. The problem is at the PM peak, it overloads the system. There simply isn't enough room between the four lights that basically once you get into a gridlock situation where the in, the entire section between Main Street and uh, Northampton Street is full, that's it. It doesn't matter how the lights, they're just trying to work to get everybody right. through. But Does they're- Does Ron work for now? No, no I, I'm just kidding. But I did <laughs> stay at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> Oh my God. God. The, uh, <laughs> this, we, PennDOT brought their chief signal permit officer yes. here to the borough to explain all this. And it was very illuminating, the, the meeting, and uh, <laughs> better understanding. No pun intended. Yeah. No, I know. I just thought early on we were, and I know it's a distance and a, and a thing, but it was, because Brown and I were talking the other day, and it's just a little frustrating. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. We didn't pay a dime for this stuff. We needed to upgrade the infrastructure with that. It's just I think we were expecting something a little bit different than what we completely got. Frustrating. Right. And the complaints so. just don't it stop. It doesn't matter. Yep. We have a red light mm -hmm. in the morning. It can be red. People go on the road. Yeah. I know. Yeah, and they're blocking the intersections. And that was another thing, too. I brought up the public safety. We should get through something in the main intersections that, but, you know, that would involve common sense. We could and hire a policeman to do traffic. Sorry, Ron, you were something else? You seem angry, bro. Thank no, you. It, just the, the <laughs> other... You let it out. This is when you let it out. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. Go ahead. The other um, discussion point we had with the fire department there is that we can get a don't block the box uh, signage and striping here um, yeah. where the fire trucks come out. At Center and 512. At Center and 512. And we came up with a system so that the way the emergency emitters, the strobe you, you put on the traffic lights when you have an ambulance or a fire truck to get everybody else to be red and you're green. In the current situation, the fire truck actually has to make the turn on Center Street, either north or south, before they can hit the light. We now have a system where as soon as they line up the trucks in front of the fire trucks facing the big kiosk sign, we're going to have a transmitter that then can shut everything down north and south to allow them to get out better. Oh. So, uh, and it's really not that expensive. Right. So, will PennDOT pay for it? No, we're paying for it. No, but it's their road. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I know. Don't get me started. You know, I remember I was in a meeting. I have to add this. So I was in a meeting with PennDOT and Senator Scavello. Do you remember what he said to them? It's not BAT's problem. It's your problem. They're your roads. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Uh, just, just wanted on. to interject. Uh, just wait for the $6.5 to be fully spent. Yeah. Yes. Right, yes. and that's the other thing, too. Yeah, we right. Can air our right. grievances. Then we can turn on Chestnut. Yeah, maybe. But anybody <laughs> from PennDOT listening to this recorded meeting, thank you very much. Yeah. For, we, mm -hmm. we really, we, we love you. We, we love do you. love PennDOT. We do. Anyway, um, anything else for public safety? All right, hearing nothing. Uh, Minoxi Creek Watershed, I'm just going to, one thing. Um, the Japanese knockweed, it looks like, <laughs> so it's going to be removed. I'm going to get teams together to do that. But that's probably going to go into like January, February like it was this year. I don't want to get poisoned. I know it's the end of the year and all that stuff, but it's just, we're getting on holidays, trying to find people to help out. It was easier in January, February. Um, so it's it's going dormant now, and then we'll get rid of it. So any questions about the creek? Still flowing? It's very dry. So anyway. Uh, Parks and Rec, Jim, we're looking here. We members. met on, Parks and Rec committee met on November the 4th. The minutes from that meeting are in your packet. Just a couple things to mention. We now have a thank you to Greg Landis on his Eagle Scout project. We now have a pet remembrance area. It's been completed at Paul Park. 
Um, and in addition to that, he also uh, cleaned and painted the existing benches and put in several birdhouses and two new benches along Minoxi Creek. Um, his scout commander, Brian Radcliffe, asked if we could do a dedication ceremony and I reached out to the mayor and, and president asking him for some dates that we could possibly do the dedication ceremony. In addition to that, um, Eagle Scout Landis is doing a fundraiser for this. It's going to be on Wednesday, December the 4th at Iron Hill Brewery at Lifestyle Center in Whitehall, Whitehall um, which I believe is it's right off, it's right by the mall, right off of MacArthur Boulevard. It's an all-day event and um, there's a flyer and I, uh, the flyer and I've asked uh, the mayor and, and administration to post it on the, on the uh, Facebook page. Uh, possibly also maybe we can make some flyers up and put them in the vestibule here um, and you know hand it out but everyone is invited please tell this to your family and friends it would be really great if we could get as many people show up there and once again it's all throughout the day you can go there for lunch or dinner or after dinner snacks it's all it's 20 percent of um, anything that you spend there will be going towards the fundraiser and all you have to do is bring the flyer with you or um, you can go on there, there's QR code, you can, you can get that information and just bring it in, just tell your server that you're here for the uh, Eagle Scout Project Troop 43. Uh, lastly, at the meeting we talked about, we have eight historic, is it, Frank, is it eight or ten historic signs? I think it's eight. Eight historic signs, and we decided that uh, they've been sitting in the building long enough that they need to be free and out, mm -hmm. and, you know, so there is, uh, there is discussion, and hopefully we can get those installed in 2025. So those are in relation to the uh, Economic Development Committee's um, history trail signs. Um, the signs that were supposed to be the demarcating the um, entry to the historic district. So we have the nice custom posts. So I was trying to install them this year, and I just ran out of time. So um, Jim and I and the both committees, we're going to come together with a plan next yep. year in spring and get those. Yep, we'll get it done. Get her done. All right. Anything else, Jim? Nope. Any questions for Parks? Yeah. Jim, thanks for uh, taking the lead with the uh, working with Gates Landis yeah. and the Eagle Scout project and uh, the wildflower planting. Everything's looking good up there, so it's appreciated. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Back museum. Um, just two things I wanted to bring up to council. Um, I think you remember last month I told you how. Diane Lager, the current president of uh, the Bath Museum Board, has been compiling a book of veterans from Bath, and uh, it goes all the way back to the Revolutionary War. It's actually kind of an interesting book, the names and dates of birth and all that other kind of information. So she bought a lectern that they're going to put in one of, I don't know if they're going to get rid of maybe the duster jacket or one of the things here, or move things around. So they're going to have a lectern where people can scroll through the book and read, you know, the names and stuff in there from the different... War. So, other than that, um, their annual meeting will take place December 7th for the election of officers. The meeting will occur from 9.30 to 10 before the house, I'm saying horse tour, house tour begins. Um, so, anyway, so that's the museum. Any questions? No? All right, last thing and I'll shut up. Uh, American 250 committee, uh, 250 committee. Um, steering committee met in October and obviously the intersection project down by Red Wolf um, that's just too much to undertake as Ron and Brad met with PennDOT and uh, gave counsel to the committee to pursue other interests so the committee is interested um, uh, looking I guess for counsel's blessing not that you were not all sort of made aware of this but we want to focus then their fundraising and efforts um, one of the trailheads specifically at Gift Cowling Park to go in with the master park plan. Um, so I thought I'd bring that up to all of you today and do you have any objections? If not, I can have them continue to go forward with, with that. So you're allowed to object if you want to. Hearing none, I'll let them know that they can keep working towards that. So they're looking at one of the things that's potentially a memorial brick project to raise money for that. Um, you know, obviously one of the talks was moving the cabin down there as like an information 
booth, but Brad was getting some quotes on prices to move the cabin, and then there's questions, does it change its historical authenticity and all this other stuff? So I think just from a realistic standpoint, they're going to focus just on the trailhead and doing something nice there. Um, and, yeah, those other discussions can happen as the, as the future progresses. So um, any questions in regards to that committee? And just a reminder, everybody sitting up there, everybody in the audience, everybody listening, you're all invited to attend those meetings. It's what, Tony, what day is it of the month? <laughs> <laughs> Third, Tuesday. Third Tuesday, 6.30 at Burrow Hall. And that's just in relation to America's 250th birthday or anniversary, whatever you'd like to call it, and just having the borough preparing for that. And uh, so we're good to go in 2026. So. Some of you have already attended, some haven't. I advise you to stop in if you have some time. It's like herding cats on that committee, but you know, they're getting there slowly. Does six o'clock start? 6.30. Six yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Iced tea, lemonade, as much as you Phil want. Phil is coming, he heard drinks. Yeah, all right. So any questions about that committee? No. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll jump into the mayor's report, V. Okay. Streets with a trooper. Lieutenant uh, Troutman was here with me all night from 6 to 8. Um, it was wonderful. We had about 130 kids, so that went well. Uh, about State Police, they are actively doing speed on West Main and East Main coming into the borough in both directions, early in the morning, I'm told. And um, if they can get here between six, five and six, but I told them not to worry about that because traffic is so backed up, nobody's speaking. There you go. So, that's that. And they can't get here. <laughs> they can't get they here. They can't get here from um, there. The tree lighting is still on December 1st at six o'clock. <coughs> I run into a snafu with the, whole sh with the horse and carriage. That's probably why you were, I am looking, actively looking for horse and carriage people. And if um, not, I call Doug's everybody I know. in the carriage by himself. And Doug so hopefully tired, we'll still have that. But I do have Elsa coming. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> it brings me back, brings me back to the Seinfeld episode. Well, I can't get with it. I got Elsa. Okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, also, our, jun our wonderful junior council member, Lila Lou, over here, she came up with uh, gingerbread decorating. So we are going to do that with children on Sunday, December 15th at 2 o'clock, and you must register, and we are not taking anyone under the age of 5, uh, 5 to 12, and uh, they are real baked gingerbread cookies, and we will supply the decorations. The candy is already bought by our wonderful secretary. Um, the decoration icing we will acquire. So if you have any children that you would like to attend, please sign up because we are not taking any more than 25 to 30 small children. We are going to, nobody panic, we're going to tarp this whole area <laughs> and uh, put the tables out Good. so we don't ruin the rug. That's all I have? December 15th. December 15th, 2 p.m. Okay. Feel free, yeah. council, to come help. Right. And question with the trees with the trooper, like next year, can they bring an extra trooper and just slowly drive around like the fire department around town, you know, just patrolling gently? Well, we were supposed sure. to have three troopers. I know, but... But two got called when they got here. So the lieutenant said, I am not leaving you. I'm staying here. So he stayed the whole time. Sure. But there was another, there were two incidents going on, and that's why they had to leave. Understood. But the fire company also, thank you for saying that. Please tell them I said thank you for doing such a great job. They do that every year. Yep. It's really appreciated. <clears throat> and um, Chandler was going to handle each, uh, the fire police were going to handle each of the intersections for my horse and carriage ride. So I'm hoping I still have horse and carriage rides. Um, that's it. Okay. Don't mix it. Any questions for the mayor? It's going to be hard to follow I know, Next. and it's not cheap. All right. It's like fifteen hundred dollars. Siberian huskies and a sled. Oh. And reindeer, they're twelve hundred. That's <laughs> why don't you get Chandler to pull it? Did he probably do it for five hundred? 
All right, public safety reports, uh, emergency mm -hmm. management coordinator. I try. I do. Right, anything from Lou? No, nothing from Lou. Nope. Uh, zoning officer, code enforcement, and permits. Packet. Right, just picking, going back to EMC. As Lou aware of old generator discussion stuff? I know that was always a concern of his. I, we haven't met recently, but uh, we're due for a meeting, so we'll talk about it. Yeah. Let them know where we are with everything. Yeah, all right. That's all right. Uh, parking enforcement programs in your packet. Any questions about that? All right. Fee has to do I'm it. sorry. Um, while we're on, while we mentioned code enforcement and zoning officer, so every year I choose a family to help at Christmas. That could use extra help. Well, this year our zoning officer went to do a rental inspection, which, by the way, these rental inspections are working really, really well. And he's redoing, you know, if they don't pass, he goes back. Anyway, he came back to the office and he nearly made me cry because he went into a house with a family who had absolutely not one piece of furniture in their house. The kids were sleeping on the floor, um, on mattresses. They don't have much at all. So I put it out there, and I have to tell you that I already have a table in the back with gift cards. Um, our secretary, Tanya, bought bedding because my intention is to get two sets of bunk beds for these kids. The two boys are sleeping in one room on the floor on a mattress, and the two girls are sleeping in the other my heart is like breaking but people are coming through already and i can't thank them enough um even some i've spoken to business people today and they want to do something as well so i do have a christmas family if you want to donate anything i'm not taking cash or checks i'm just taking gift cards money orders or cashier's checks i am not going to publish the name of the family i'm not going to publish the address um, for personal, you know, yep. for personal reasons. Um, I did speak to the father. I did speak to the um, landlord, and the landlord uh, did tell me that he is helping them with the rent because of the situation. So, sorry. Okay. No, fine. And what's the deadline to? I'm collecting the entire uh, month of November, and we'll deliver the first week of December. Okay. And they can drop off donations at Royal Wall. Right, Sorry. Thank no, you. Right. Our administration reports. Uh, Borough engineer Ron. Yes. Yeah, so we've been working um, to get the awarded uh, contractor for the Old Forge lights uh, in under contract. The um, solicitor Armstrong has prepared those documents, and there's uh, a motion later on on the agenda for that. Um, I'm going to interrupt you one second. Sure. Brad, I've got another email from the state. Do I sign off on another thing with that? That portal? It's another grant, and but we're it's trying. The old board, though, no. Isn't it? No. It's some, no. It should be for the public work truck, but it's we need to work something out between the borough and the Senate office and the state. Okay. I'll talk. Yeah. All right. Sorry. We also, after prodding uh, PennDOT, we got some additional documentation from them regarding the uh, potential Wawa at the old bank building. Um, I'm going to reach back out to them and, and request on uh, Burrell's behalf a, a formal uh, a PennDOT scoping meeting. The, the applicant did revise their uh, site plan versus the sketch plan to address a lot of our comments. Um, our concern is that this type of traffic draw may uh, impact some of the work that was just done on the signalization timing of the four lights, and we're still questioning whether or not there is a, a warrant for a fifth light at Borough Avenue and North Chestnut. So if, it, if you agree, I can make that request to have it more fully explained. Because right now they did their sketch plan, they don't have to come back, but uh, they're pursuing. Meaning fully the explain, they'd have a scope meeting here. It would be a teams meeting is that, is that with the applicant, oh, teams meeting. their okay. consultant, PennDOT, but then the girl would be represented. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with you moving forward with that. You know, if you need a formal yes from council, but. Do we need a motion or? Not sure what we're really doing here. So you're going to respond through the e-permitting system? Or the e-permitting e system doesn't work. So oh, it doesn't? No, it hasn't worked in the borough. It's not working in Williams Township, and it's not working in, in Penardo Borough. And we well, keep complaining issue. for all of our those three clients, and it still isn't correct. I'm locked down. So luckily, I point? have a certain person's yeah. cell phone, and that's how I get a hold of it. Yeah, so the e-permitting <laughs> system was set up a number of years ago. It was only like five years ago, I thought. Right. And the whole intention was when somebody applied to PennDOT, uh -huh. that the relevant municipality or municipalities would automatically be copied on everything that was submitted with the application uh -huh. and every response that PennDOT gave and anything submitted revised. And we, we were supposed to be able to comment through that system and, it, and so, it, it worked until emails changed or new people were well that's that. yeah well that yeah okay I, I get that part of it so um so do we need all right so so the so a certain the, the sketch plan applicant got a letter from the planning commission that gave the guidance that the planning commission had provided at a meeting plus they gave the borough engineers review letter so the applicant had all the guidance already and then they submitted to PennDOT for a, they did a scoping application, and they submitted certain documents. And uh, Ron has received a copy of PennDOT's response to the scoping application, and they have not set up an actual scoping meeting. So Ron is asking for council's uh, approval for him to contact PennDOT and to relay the Burroughs uh, desire that a scoping meeting actually take place, right? Isn't that what it is? Correct. Right. So you can authorize them to do that. That's what I was Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to do and, a and we'll get we'll get invites to that. I would, uh, let's put it on the on the record. I think no. that's what Ron wants. Yeah, I no, mean, no. I think Ron could have done it without even uh, bringing it to council, frankly. But that's okay. He's uh, making sure council's informed, and you can do the motion. So we're looking for a well, motion. To so, authorize the borough engineer to contact PennDOT and request a formal scoping meeting take place in response to the application, the scoping application that this entity put into PennDOT. Motion. Okay. Sorry, guy, there's a question. There's a question. Uh, question is, will, will, borough, will the council be invited to the team's meeting? If you want to have select people, but basically it was going to be Brad and I representing the borough. Okay. Who was first? Who was second? Michelle was motion. motion. Manny was second. second. Manny second. All right. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed. Aye. The ayes have it. On anything else for your report outside of the packet? Nope. No. Nope. All right. Uh, public works. Got anything you want? to uh, just uh, Public Works is working on leaf collection, and then we'll be gearing up for snow season after that. Yeah. We have, yes, our, our new Public Works employee has started, uh, William Parr, comes from the Slate Belt area, so he's joined our team. He started uh, late October. We're happy to have him. Uh, the street, time, uh, street sign toppers for the historic district are also going up, if not already complete. And again, we'll be uh, gearing up for the winter season after leaves are collected. When are the uh, snowflakes going up? Uh, prior to... After the leaves are picked up. Yeah, but <laughs> prior to her... December 1st, yeah. I got a question for that. The snowflakes thing. We outsource that to the gentleman with the bucket truck, the electrician guy, right? Sparky. Right, right. I thought it was smoky. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's only if the sparks <laughs> No, Now, but, so, just refresh my memory... I know we don't have a bucket truck, no. but so is is what holds us back is we don't have a bucket truck or we don't have an electrician on staff. We don't have an electrician on we staff. Don't have okay. All right, I'm just, and we I'm don't just, have a bucket truck. I'm just and curious. <laughs> right, both issues. But I'm just saying, you know, if if All that's, you know, yeah. okay, that's fine. Do you know any electricians that want to do it? No, I was just wondering because like other towns have a bucket truck or rent a bucket truck and their public works put it up. I'm not saying we need to do that if we're not meeting certain qualifications. Uh, so my question was in regards to that. So 
Thank you for answering that question. You're welcome. Water Authority. Um, uh, oh, we have a board member gracing us today who just was renewed with his thing. We have our liaison sitting next to us. So, Jim, is there anything from the Water Authority? Nothing that, um, nothing more that was than what was in the packet. Next meeting is Wednesday, November 20th at 6.30 p.m. sharp. Any increase for 25? Any water and any increase for 25? Yes, you'll see it when it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's rescind that renewal. All right, any questions? Well, okay. Hey, Tony, was Brawl, is that finished now? It looks like it's finished. The lines are in, yes. Yeah, lines. I think they What's paid. Gonna, oh. They're going to the cabin now, aren't they? Well, the trench restoration, I think, is as far as they got. That's that was all they had to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's done. Well, yeah, that's done. Yeah. Everything's away now. See, I don't know when, when, when does that stop in the cabin? Sometime in November. Yeah. Well, it's temperatures too. Different. It's yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't go longer, but usually right. it's fifteenth. Nothing else in regards to the uh, water authority. Uh, bro manager, Brad, anything else out of your report? Yeah. Uh, just one thing uh, regarding the last month's meeting. We had a resident. We really appreciate folks coming out and speaking on the record and everything. And I just caution on, opinions are great, but I caution on confirmation bias or research that's done. Uh, and then there's numbers presented to the public or to council, and, and those numbers aren't necessarily accurate. So the comment that was made, there was speculation at 202 North Walnut about a Wawa, and then there was crime rates that were read off. 30% uh, higher crime around a Wawa, 38% higher violent crime around a Wawa. So the individual had given, uh, just Google it, you know, the information's out there. So I did just to see what I could find. And I put in the search term, the crime rates around a Wawa. And I came back with a website, it was from Area Vibes. And it did give me crime rates, as the, as the member had, had suggested, only it was for Awawa, Ontario. So it was a town on the northeast shores of Lake Superior. Oh, well, Ontario. Right. Oh. It's a seven and a half, eight hour drive north of Detroit. <laughs> it's like so a it had, it had nothing to do with a Wawa convenience stores that are located in the United <laughs> States. So just again, we, uh, if there is information there that uh, maybe was missed, we would be sure, happy to see it. And again, all that can be directed at the planning commission level. The 202 North Walnut Street site is being reviewed in the planning commission. Those meetings are Monday, a uh, third Monday of each month, unless there uh, isn't any business to discuss. Those meetings start at 6 p.m. Thank you. Yes, for the clarifying. Right. Anything else you dealt with the one in Lower now, just the one in Hanover? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you had some calls, but nothing. I'm sure nothing more it than It didn't increase else. calls at all, not from no. what I remember at Colonial. Anything else, Brad? No, that was it. Thank you. Uh, Treasury report, which was received via email last week. Uh, any questions from council in regards to Treasury report? No. 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 We'll be discussing the budget in a little bit. Uh, Borough solicitor Jamie, anything outside of your report? Well, I just want to say it's been my pleasure serving the borough for about 20 years. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, as you know, you appointed a new solicitor. And I've already spoken with him and already transitioning. So hopefully everything will be transitioned by the end of the year. I don't know if there'll be anything that carries over shortly into the early part of the year could happen. But uh, again, I've enjoyed working with you all. And uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you see me around, not sitting up here, but uh, you know what I mean? So, right, on the other side. No. Well, not necessarily no. on the other side either. But, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't want to see you on the other side. Yeah, no, yeah. that's not the intention. Yeah. I didn't do a timeout now. Got you. Sure. Comments from council and from yourself since now you knocked our agenda out of whack. Did I? Oh, you sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This whole thing planned, but now we might as well do it now. Uh, oh, I know. Okay. All right, just we're going to take a little detour. Here. Sorry. Before our November council meeting comes to a close, oh. we wanted to take a moment and give recognition to an individual who was here with us tonight. This was supposed to be like they didn't know who I was talking about. <laughs> it's all right. You weren't in on this. This person has been a part of the governance of the borough of Bath more than most anyone sitting up here, except maybe the exception of one or two. 
In fact, the Bath Museum probably could adjust one of its displays and feature this gentleman. Of course, that would solely be based on his knowledge and history of the borough and not on his age alone. The gentleman I'm describing, of course, is Attorney James Kratz. As you are aware, Attorney Kratz will be leaving the Borough of Bath at the end of 2024, and tonight's meeting is the last Borough Council meeting he will participate in. Of course, he will be always welcome back at any time if he wants to come back and heckle us from the audience. However, I will clearly state now, on the record, that he will be afforded the same three to five minute rule <laughs> that everyone else has. In all seriousness, Jamie has been in Jamie has been an invaluable asset to our borough. Jamie has helped the borough accomplish many things. He has assisted in writing ordinances and resolutions, weighed in on proposed projects, creations of authorities, designations of streets, providing legal counsel and grants and personnel, the list goes on and on. It should be noted that in the many years of his service to the borough, we have had disagreements, which is to be expected. But it must also be said that at, at all times, Jamie has displayed the true character of a gentleman. No person can ever question Jamie's steadfast commitment to the protection of our small borough. Jamie, we find Bath in a better place now than when you first arrived here. Jamie, on behalf of Borough Council and the residents we represent, we give you our sincere thanks. And thank you. Thank you. And Fee and Brad would like to uh, say something. Well, they're going to serenade him. <laughs> so I, did, I don't write speeches. I speak. Um, so I can't thank you. And I've known you a long time. You've been here a long time. And as Frank said, um, your number one goal was to protect us. I know I didn't make that very easy for you. <laughs> I'll just add that. But anyway, forgetting that, um, I appreciate everything you've done. You've become like family. You were at our Christmas gatherings together with Borough Council. I got to meet your wife, your beautiful children, and um, I wish you nothing but continued good health, happiness, and all the best. And you are always welcome in our little borough. And. I'd like to present you with something well, thank you. from all of us. Well, thank, thank you. you. Oh, but before you do that, you before you open it, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need a motion from council that was all right that we bought a gift for Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> a motion. Yeah, go ahead motion and open it. From Jim I motion. Did, motion. I second did, by I did Mandy. Hide. Intend to hide you after a meeting. All in favor? <laughs> so aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. All right, so then we're legal with that. Now, okay. Brad, is there anything you want to do? I, I will, yes. Uh, so, as he's opening his press. Yes. Um, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for the incredible years we've shared working together. For nearly a decade of my career, your expertise, your dedication, your tenacity, and unwavering commitment to the borough of Bath has profoundly shaped our team and enriched our community. Jamie, your professionalism and wisdom have consistently set a high standard. Beyond your legal insights, you've been a steady source of support and guidance always willing to lend an ear, even off the clock, <laughs> offer advice or go the extra mile to ensure Bath's success. Your ability to see the big picture while meticulously handling the finer details has been invaluable. And on behalf of the borough administrations you've served over the years, I'm personally grateful for the countless times you've helped navigate complex issues with clarity and confidence. A large part of the Bath's uh, successes today is because of your legal stewardship. And if you don't know, this borough hall, a big part of why we're here, we have the old school building, and uh, Jamie had looked into it and had looked at a reverter clause. If the, if the borough had left that building, we were supposed to give that back to the school district, but they had worked an arrangement out, I think in 2006, which allowed the borough to possess that building but then sell it. And that's a big reason why we're even here. So that was a historic uh, shift uh, for us here in the borough. And, uh, you know, Jamie was a big part of that. Personally, working with you has been an immense pleasure. You've, heard, you've had a hand in shaping my career as municipal manager, helping me reach new heights and to think about things in a way I might not have uh, otherwise. For that, I thank you. In closing, thank you, Jamie, for your dedication, your friendship, your countless contributions during your more than 20 years serving the borough of Bath. You'll be deeply missed, but I can say with certainty, we're excited for you and all that lies ahead as long as we're not facing off against you. <laughs> Wishing you nothing but the success and fulfillment in your future endeavors. Yeah, thank you. Feel free to open it. I will open it. It's a little heavy. 
It is. <laughs> Maybe it's a book. <laughs> it's your first book. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got your first a book. book. A book. I got to deal with mayors. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh Robert, it's Robert's Rules of War. Robert's Rules of War. <laughs> oh, Robert's Rules is later than this. I have a copy in my office. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Oh, I'm not <laughs> telling you. You told me to be quiet, remember? <laughs> Let's just say it's what is it? just be I'm careful. Just be careful. Be careful. Ooh. Oh, that's very nice. It does a clock. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's very nice. Thank you very much. This will go in my office. I don't want to take it out of the right. yeah. this part. Protective, yeah. But it's a it's a clock that I can with the engraving that I can put in my office. There we go. Get it? Yep. Oh my hands on. Yeah. Actually, can we get a picture, Phil? Yeah. Can you take a picture of all of us up here? Oh boy, uh, Phil, do you know? Yeah, no, let's with this. With yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll give Phil no, we're gonna camera. you're gonna lay across our orange chair. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, should we do it down there? Yeah, should we go down? Yeah, yeah probably. I'll put it in my checklist. Oh, there you go. Even better yet. Better yet, yeah. 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 So the kids can see it. Oh, yeah. Well, that will make sure it does. Not that I've never had anything disappear in my own. Oh, you got it. You never did. There you go. Just take a picture. Yeah. 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 Exposure roll of film to get four kids at all looking. Just kept shooting a whole roll for one good picture. <laughs> but you couldn't find out without the ad development. Exactly. None of this instant satisfaction. No. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. The sep the September 16th should have been in there, actually. Was it? They were, that was in the packet. I saw yeah. it. Yeah, it was in the packet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we adopted it in October. Yeah, that was in there. Um, any questions about that? Still some planning commission members here, if you have questions. Um, I wonder when you get a chance, because all right. of the snow at the end of the driveway that they have been shoveling that. It's becoming it, an issue. Yeah, it's not well, She doesn't all right, mind so, the shoveling, but she wants to look All right, so... Be nothing. You can take your time. It's all right. Here. All right. President's comments. There's just one thing I want to mention. Um, this Saturday at 11 o'clock here, if anybody can come, it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to do the formal reading of the National Historic Designation thing. We're going to maybe get feet to pull a blanket off. Well, see, I shouldn't give it all away because it's supposed to be partly a surprise. We're going to unveil the uh, historic district sign. There's one right out here by the social on the corner of Center and 512. I just want to have a formal announcement of this 
because this is a big deal, and I know we've been saying it, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it. Anybody in council can show up, feel blasted out on Facebook. It's going to be like a 10 minute thing. Read the, read the declaration. Brad's going to say some things, unveil it, and then it's formalized. So don't tell anybody the details because then they'll say, well, I don't have to show up because okay, I know listen, what's already happening. I need, you to check, I need you to email me what you want me to blast out because now okay. you're saying you don't want some things mentioned. So just tell me what you want. A special announcement. Know. Okay, I'll tell you that. All right, okay. so anyway, Saturday, 11 o'clock, 10, 15 minutes, if anybody can come. If you can't come, I understand. Not the end of the world. Okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. No, thank you. I have nothing else to say about that. Any questions for me? Are you guys mad at me? No. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Motion to pay the bills. Uh, said, wow, I didn't even Second. Aye. 720. Keep going. Aye. Aye. In progress business, MS4 authority. We already did that stuff. 2025 budget. Uh, uh, Brad, you just want to do that right. later on in the resolution. Right? Yeah. 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 made the motion. I know that. Manny, Jim. Right. I think yep. Jim did the second. On your bills. Was Manny it a 6 0 vote? Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to, the budget's coming up later on. Wireless communications ordinance review, anything new on that? Nothing to report now. More bat trail updates, Ron, anything with Brian Cope? Nothing. Um, Brad, you, you have a, so at the parks, I'll just start off and then Brad can finish off. At the parks and rec meeting on November 4th, we, we brought that up. He asked Brad to reach out to Brian Cope, and Brian responded back to Brad that it's um, still ongoing and uh, the plan is to connect at, um, the Water Authority of Mill Street. Um, I don't think anything else was mentioned in that, but yeah, Brian just asked for our the master comprehensive plan to yes. see how the yeah. trail systems work That's here right. in Bath. So that was. But we have open dialogue with them, and it's, yep. and it's in progress, and hopefully it should be completed next year. Yeah. All right. Uh, motion and action items. A has already been taken care of. B has to approve the 2025 holiday schedule. Any questions from council on that? Hearing crickets and hearing nothing. Send it to do, do we have to motion it? Or? Yes. Motion. Motion made by Jim. Second. Second by. Second by. We'll give it to Sam there, maybe okay. if you don't mind. All right. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All aye. opposed. The ayes have it. Jim and Sam. One, qu one, one question on the holiday schedule is: mm -hmm. uh, any of the holidays going to affect our council meeting? We no, no, and I, I think it, you know. Again, if it's on a Monday or a Wednesday, it bumps everything down okay. just by the one day. That's all. all. Right. That I don't think we have that yet established the advertisement okay. for all the meetings yet. That'll probably come in December. Right. All right. All right. Are we? Yeah. Go ahead. Are we staying on Tuesday? On Tuesday. The second. Are week. we staying on the second week? What? You're doing that for the treasury stuff, yes. But is that beneficial to people? I'm just asking because... I kind of miss the first Monday, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but well, I understand why we had... It seems I, like I, forever I, sometimes till we get to a meeting. I know, I look forward to these meetings, and they feel Every like there's so long gaps in there. That's it. <laughs> it's the no, same, I, right? I, 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 like, I like the second Monday. Because it gives, gives the time to get a lot of the information, you know, that rather than getting it, like, at the 11th hour. The big thing is oh, the treasury reports, the you know, financial reasons. The, the we financial the treasury fine, reports. We're the giving engineering, the engineers. Report. We're giving council of that real time financial yeah. data. No, no, no that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody wants it, I'm fine. Just I just want coming to from it my heart, man. Just I'm, I'm, so I'm just, I'm just stating my, my minutes. preference would be second like Monday. 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 Agree. Okay. Anyway, moving on. As to the question of confirming the old Ford street light replacement solar LED project award and execution of the contract to billetier in the amount not to exceed $400,599. That's a lot of money. So, yeah. But most of it is covered by grants. Yeah. Yep. Thank goodness. I don't know who this grant guy is, but he's a <laughs> <laughs> All right, motion by who? All of us. No, no, no. I think it was pick wait. one. We were at Doug? the same time. Okay. No, okay. Say who said it. Manny, Michelle. Manny. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Michelle had the last one. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 They're just trying to rush along. 
Any motions being necessary by council? There's really none here, right, Brad? We no, I don't on. think you do. All yeah. right, we'll go to 16 and 22 resolutions. Item A, resolution 2024-009, adopting the 2025 borough bath budget, the November 12, 2024, retaining the real estate property tax rate from 2024. Motion. Second. Motion by Michelle, second by Jim. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Right, question for everyone. Past years, we did a roll call on the budget. You do. Yeah. You do. Oh, you want to do a roll call? I think we should do a roll call. Sure. Okay, what do you, does that have to be? No. Just, we'll do it to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what roll? happens after this they've is, just is. the motion second All right, right now? Yeah. We don't have to this year. I just thought it's a unanimous good. vote. All right, six zero. Yeah. Item B, yeah. resolution 2024-010, 2025 okay. schedule of fees. Motion. Motion. Motion by Jim, second by Michelle. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed. Aye. The ayes have it. Resolution 2024-011, conditional preliminary final subdivision approval consideration for 450 North Chestnut Street, Salvo application. Motion. Motion by Manny. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Well, I mean, you do have the resolution. Right. The, we're talking about 2024-011, which is the... Conditional preliminary, uh, preliminary mm -hmm. slash final approval for 450 North Chestnut Street, which is a minor subdivision. The applicant was provided a copy of the proposed resolution yesterday. They were also invited to attend, which is okay. uh, Joel Moyer on behalf of right. Moyer Properties, and Ed mm -hmm. Schleiner is the engineer for the project. They, I also mentioned to them, though, if they didn't have any questions uh, about the resolution that, and they didn't want to attend, they didn't have to attend. Mm -hmm. So it is before you, and... Uh, you can move to approve it this evening. I would recommend that you actually approve it this evening, and I believe you're ready to do so. So, mm -hmm. Second. proceed. Motion uh, on table from Manny. Manny, Michelle. 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 Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The yeah, ayes have it. Item D, resolution 2024 012, approval of the 450 North Chestnut Street sewage module DEP resolution for plan revision for new land development. This is a one-page DEP sewage module. It's not, uh, you know, a resolution like you used to. It's a form resolution right. from the state that they require. So, we do. You do need to authorize the execution and any complete any information that resolution needs for that planning module that the borough is supposed to supply. Okay. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Manny. Second by Jim. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 All opposed. Aye. The ayes have it. Item E has been tabled. Correct. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. We did 17 of 22 ordinances. And uh, if I may, Mr. President, yes. though, um, you may approve the just on, on on the schedule of fees, I'm on my way out, obviously, but mm. um, I did there, there could your, be some things yes. relative to, especially the Sado applications, that you're the MPC requires that you uh, adopt, approve your professional uh, consultants' hourly rates each year because they get charged to the applicants for land development applications. Mm -hmm. And we do that through the schedule of fees. And now I am, at this point, a special solicitor. I am transitioning out. I'm just uh, saying that you should have my fees still in there. Okay. Um, just in case there's anything billed next year, okay. right? Uh, because they can challenge the fees. If that's why you have to have the fees adopted. So for okay. Sake, okay. Right. Right. So I had met. Should you know, we revisit that? Motion? I would say is amend the motion yes. to uh, okay. that you did earlier to approve resolution 2024-0110. Just amend it to add the special solicitor's rate of 225 an hour and also. The legal assistant for our office is 145 per hour. Just okay. add them in the section where you have the yes. new yes. solicitor's rate. You also yep. have this special solicitor for right to no request. Just add mine at the bottom, and then um, you know yep. it's there just in case. Sure. Are you Perfect. staying with the planning commission? So we need the motion in the second. No, we need they're going to take it over. So we, we need to amend. Some. We need to amend. So we yeah. need to have a motion to amend. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motion to amend. By Jim. Second. Second by Manny. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed. Let's have it. All right, course.
correspondence for the towns will be an email October 23rd um, and November 4th. Okay. Uh, anything we want to bring up with those in public session? Nope. No, but if you did want to have executive session to have attorney client privilege communications regarding the Northampton County Court of Common Pleas litigation, we can. Okay. I just, it's up to you. I mean, I would like at least a brief exec session. We, we, yep. we could do yeah. that. I agree. So, all in favor of going into uh, exec motion. Motion by Jim. 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 I said Jim. Jim. I must be thirsty, sorry. <laughs> Off the record. Second by Michelle. All in favor, signify by aye. Seven aye. 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 Opposed? All right. 729. We're going into exact. Mark. Sam, are you disconnecting or should we you want to call in, in there? It's up to you. I'll call in on that line. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Move. Motion. Motion well, to be back in executive. Do we need to amend oh, anything? Be back, be back in public? First, it is. Uh, back in the public from executive. Back in public. I see. 802. 802. Oh, Mark. Yeah. All right. So, Manny, first, it is. Jim, second, it is. No? No? Yeah, no, yes, second. Second. yes. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. The ayes have it. Uh, nothing we have to really Manny, add. Manny and Jim, right? Yep. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion. Oh, jeez. That will do Jim and then Manny. Okay. Sorry, Sam, they beat you to it. All in favor, say bye-bye. Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Guys, have it at 8.03 p.m. Boom. Where's Thank you. All right, have a good night, right. Sam. Good night, Thanks, Sam. Good night, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.